So, so okay, so here you have three questions to answer. And I think in the orientation session, I have tried something with this. And I think this time I have at least enough time to kind of work through some of the responses that ChatGPT might give. So I've done something as backup. I can switch to it if necessary. But let me just do this live. Um, <laughs> just set this up before the meeting. Um, let me uh, make it give an answer. And it says that it's uh, been updated, January 30th version. But um, when I was trying it out for the backup, it, it still gave more or less the same answer it was giving. So let's see what answers it gives. And it, uh, ah, there. Yeah. Okay. So, so in the orientation session, I simply told you that oh, its answers are wrong. How, how dumb. <laughs> but let me explain this time why the answers it's giving are wrong instead of, and and I think this is useful because you know when it's a student response, I don't want to call it dumb. That's insulting. But it's on AI. It cannot be insulted. I've tried insulting it many times and. It says it can be insulted, so I'm gonna take it only at its word that I can call it dumb and it won't feel insulted. <laughs> yeah, I almost the type that that's a dumb answer, but let me just leave it there. So uh, let me uh, just uh, quickly grade it, tell you which of its responses are correct and which are not. So the first answer where it says it's not in free fall, that's not correct. Second response where it says, Momentary is, is, is not in free fall. Oh, wow. Uh, half the time it says it's in free fall. Um, if, it, if it says it's not in free fall, it's wrong. Um, <laughs> and I'll explain. On the way down, the ball is, yes, it is in free fall. That is correct because it is subject only to the. So it does know the correct definition of what being in free fall means being subject only to the force of gravity and not being supported by any other force. That is the correct definition. And based on the correct definition, it has given the correct answer And for that uh, part three. And what I would point out is that um, ChatGPT somehow didn't apply the definition correctly. And I find that that's a common mistake that students tend to make. So imagine a tennis ball, or this is a, Imagine this golf ball, and imagine I'm throwing it up. And you have to visualize this. Imagining going up, and then at the top, and then down. As you imagine it going up, ask yourself this question. Is it subject only to the force of gravity? And a lot of times people give this answer. Oh, uh, when it's going up, there's a push-up work. Well, there was a push-up work while my hand was touching it. While I was pushing it up, yes, I was pushing it up. But you have to imagine after it left my hand, left my right hand, and while it's not touching anything else, then while it's moving up, it's subject to only to gravity. There's no other force, air resistance is negligible. So what it really should be for part A, part one here is uh, it is in free fall because of this definition reasons. Because while it's moving up, it's subject only to gravity. And when it's at the very top, none of this changes. When it's at the very top, it is still in free fall because it's still only subject to force of gravity. And um, so, so I guess this is the kind of the training that you go through when you are learning physics. What details to pay attention to and what details to ignore because they are not uh, relevant <laughs> to the situation at hand. So in this uh, throwing of a ball up, um, like what direction the velocity is pointing, not relevant to, to the point of whether an object is in free fall or not. And, um, and ChatGPT is not very good at ignoring those irrelevant details. Uh, let me look at uh, part B says a skydiver after having jumped out of an airplane after they've reached the terminal velocity okay so it understands what i'm asking about after they've reached the terminal velocity. oops see but before it is i says it's in free fall and i will tell you that's wrong 
And again, uh, it goes to the definition of free fall. This is the correct definition. Uh, Chat GPT is not wrong about the definition. Um, I guess uh, it, um, it's not analyzing the situation right. So imagine, uh, imagine a, a, a parachutist who's uh, falling down. And somehow the skydiver has reached uh, uh, constant speed. So if the skydiver is at constant speed, then the skydiver's acceleration must be zero because otherwise um, he or she will be speeding up downward. So if uh, their acceleration is zero, they cannot be in a situation where they are affected by gravity alone. Because if that were the case, their acceleration will be downward at G. That's what it should be if uh, force of gravity is the only thing acting on them. And since uh, this is not the scenario, that means they are not in free fall because the fact that they reach the terminal velocity and they are no longer accelerating means there must be something else other than gravity. But you know, the, the kind of the response that ChatGPT gives, it's a response I can imagine reading on a student response, not, on, not just because they cheated, but because <laughs> they had the same <laughs> exact misunderstanding that, uh, sorry, it, the quotes are there because large language model, they don't act, it's a model, it doesn't understand anything. It doesn't have human intelligence. It's dumb. <laughs> students are not dumb. Um, a student could have the same misunderstanding that's been trained into ChatGPT. Okay, the C and the last question. Uh, it says, an astronaut on the International Space Station performing an extravehicular activity while safely tethered to the station is not in free fall because they are being supported by the tether to the station. Uh, that's an interesting question, um, scenario. So if I were grading it because uh, it said, uh, it, because it gave this reason, because they are being supported by the tether to the station, I might be tempted to grade it as uh, correct. Uh, if it were a student, a human being, and not a LNL, LLM, I would be kind and say, give them full credit. And um, But I would point out this potential complication. So imagine, imagine a space station or a satellite or whatever that's in orbit. And imagine an astronaut outside who's working on some stuff and for safety, they have a tether that's attached to the space station. So I would ask you this question. Most of the time, while they are engaging in this extravehicular activity, what do you think the tether would look like? Would it look like where tether is taut and they are hanging by the thread of the tether? Would that what you expect to see? Or would you expect to see what I drew the first time? Whether where the tether is loose and just it just connects the astronaut to the space station. If you are, if you are imagining the first scenario, in this scenario, astronaut is in free fall with the station. Both the station and the astronaut, they are in orbit. It's a special kind of free fall. So if the tether isn't acting with any force on the astronaut, then the astronaut is in free fall. Because in this scenario, the only force that could be acting on the astronaut is, the, is gravity, gravity due to Earth. Uh, there's nothing else that's actually pushing, pulling on the astronaut if the tether isn't up. In this scenario, where the tether is taut and there's an additional force on the astronaut that's not gravity, then sure, in this specific scenario, um, you would say not in free fall. And the response given by ChatGPT would be correct in this specific scenario. But I gotta tell you, if I imagine an astronaut um, engaging in extravehicular activity, this is like an emergency. Uh, this is where uh, after they come back safely and it's like a near miss. <laughs> it's not a situation you want to be in. This is more of a common scenario. 
So uh, th there's that need for that judgment to call. Uh, some, you know, uh, you, so it might be a kind of an assumption that you need to make. Uh, what does the question mean by safely tethered? safely tethered? Does it mean tether is taut and applying force on the astronaut? Or does it mean there's a, just a cord attached that's not currently applying any force, but that's there for safety? So, so yeah, that's uh, um, kind of working through this response from ChatGPT. Um, sorry, <laughs> we don't have more time to go through the rest of the two. Um, Maybe after the assignment to due date, I might do this. Uh, let me give you some thoughts. So I don't think I'll have time to do the other two questions on um, on recording in next two weeks of virtual class session. But I do have response from ChatGPT. I think I might be happy to just post this in a discussion somewhere and give my explanation why and where, or sorry, where and why ChatGPT's answer is wrong. Uh, I mean, um, it's fun for me because, <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, so, yeah, uh, so I, I think that's all. That's uh, um, <laughs> five minutes over the time we had. Uh, 